In this video, we're about to go over how easy it is to customize the home page on your authorized website. Editing your website can be a daunting task. It can be confusing and complicated, and that's why at Authorize we've tried to make this homepage editor and our entire website editor as easy as possible. And I hope that you find this is a simple and fun process to get your homepage set up on your Authorize website. In this video, we're gonna go over three sections of your homepage. We're gonna go over the main headline with a background image, then we're gonna go in section two over three locations where you can feature something about yourself or your business. And then in the third section, we're gonna go over how easy it is to add a couple areas where you work to your authorized homepage. So let's go ahead and dive in now to the top section, the headline section and the background image. What you'll notice is as I'm in my website editor and my authorized platform, on the left, I'm in the website tab. At the top, you'll notice tabs across the top and I'm in the homepage tab. Each one of these tabs across the top is exactly the page that it says you'll be editing. So we're gonna stay in the home page this whole tutorial. First of all, what I'm gonna do is scroll down and I'm gonna select a background image for my home page. But let's first of all look at exactly where that image lives. By clicking on this button right here that says view home page, it's gonna open my website home page in a new tab so I can view what my customers and the world would see on my website. So I'm gonna click that now. And you'll notice that it's a full screen image here covered by the text real estate specialist in white. We're gonna go ahead and customize this background image and this headline text right now. So I'm gonna dive over here, back into my editor and click on the image that's the background image. You'll notice that I can then go and select the image that I'd like to use for that background as I'm doing now. Like always, I'll wait for that red bar to go across the top, letting me know that that image is being uploaded. And within just a moment, that page is going to refresh, letting me know that my new background image has been added to my homepage, as I could view right here. By refreshing my homepage on the front end, I can easily see, boom, it's got my new background image. This should oftentimes feature something about an area you work in, or pick a house that you like, or, or possibly you out with some customers. It's whatever you like and whatever you'd like to add about your business. So, now let's go over how to customize the headline that's laying over that image. Right below that image, you'll notice that there's real estate specialists inside a website editor. I'm gonna go ahead and type, Hello, I'm Gabe, because that's what I want people to see right when they land on my website. Now to save that text, I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom as always and click the publish button. You'll notice, just like always, the publish will run, a red bar will slide across the top, and boom, my website has been updated. It's literally this simple to add a background image and headline to your homepage. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. I'm gonna refresh the homepage on the front end, and boom, you'll see I've got my background image, and I've got my headline, Hello Gabe. Let's say I quickly wanted to change my mind about what my headline was and say, I'm a top agent in my area. Of course, at any time you can come back and edit your site the way that you'd like to and change that message. Again, push publish at the bottom, you'll notice the red bar flashes across the top and your website's updated. Let's go ahead and get into section two, which has a little bit more of this exact same editing style that's all about three things and your business. You'll notice that it says homepage three main features in the second section of this homepage editor, and that's exactly what this is. This is gonna be three locations where you can say something special about you and your business. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my first image and my first feature right now by clicking on that first featured image. Just like we did with the background, it's as easy as click and select the image you'd like to use. I've got my three images ready to go here, so I'm gonna start by adding featured image number one, and then I'll come up with some sort of headline, like I work in San Diego. That may be something that I want my customers or future customers to know about my business. So it's as easy as this, I work in San Diego. Exactly like the editor above it, I'm simply gonna push publish, and it will show on the front end website in a section of three, just as it's shown here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the other two so we can take a look at what it looks like to have all three sections customized. In my second section, I'm adding, I work with real estate agents. And in my third section, I'm gonna say, I create custom websites. 
Boom, those are three things that I like to feature about my business, as well as adding an image to support that same exact message. These are custom to your business, and we suggest that you take a moment and write down a couple things that you always say about your business to be able to add in here. So let me finish this off by adding a second custom image in the second section, and we'll do the same by adding a third custom image in the third section. As soon as you'll notice that red bar flashes across the top, your page has been updated and you can now take a look at what it looks like on the front end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here by clicking view my homepage now, and I'm gonna refresh this homepage. You'll notice that right below the header section where it has my background image and my headline, there's three sections that are custom to my business. Feature number one, I work in San Diego. Feature number two, I work with real estate agents. And feature number three, I create custom websites. Again, all of these sections are editable at any time if you ever wanna come back and change or add on to what you offer to your consumers. Now let's dive into the third section of the homepage and quickly add a couple areas that we work in. You'll notice here as I'm back in the website editor, below where it says my homepage background and image and headline, and below the three main featured areas, there is a section called areas where you work. You can add three or six areas here, and once you've input this, our team is alerted so that we can go ahead and add in these sections with an image and a paragraph specifically about that section. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my areas now. San Diego, La Jolla, Point Loma, Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, and of course, downtown San Diego. By me publishing those, it's going to now alert us so that we can come in and customize your site and make sure that each one of those sections looks really good with an image and a paragraph. I'm gonna dive back over to the front end and take a look at exactly what this will look like once it's complete. Cool, and that's it. You can see here that my custom areas are now populating with a background image and a paragraph. And with that, we're going to be complete on the things that we can edit on our authorized homepage I hope that you've enjoyed this and I hope that you get a little bit more insight on how to customize your authorized website. Cool, so thanks for checking out this video. I hope you've learned a little bit more about how to grow your business. And of course, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all the exciting stuff we've got coming from Authorized. So you may have a couple more questions, and we love that. And that's why we're available to answer those questions anytime by emailing us at team at authorized.company or connect with us on any of our social media platforms. As well, if you've not yet created your authorized account, you can do so for free by going to authorized.company. And of course, be sure to check out our other training videos and leave a comment below because we love to hear your feedback.